Where do I begin with this case? Mr. Grant, you work for a used car lot? Yes, Your Honor. Before you sold her a car, did you know Ms. McMahon? Before you sold... I don't know what this means. Before you sold yes. her a car, did you know I had Ms. met her McMahon? before, Your Honor. How? Through a mutual friend. How long before? A couple of days. And other than that first meeting through a mutual friend, you'd had no contact with her? Absolutely. So you had no idea who she was or her background? Yes. And she came in and she found a car in your used car lot? Yes, Your Honor. What kind of a car did she find? A 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee. How much was the car? Total, it was $7,000. Did you negotiate a price with her? Yes, Your Honor. And what was the negotiated price? Due to her credit, she was going to put $2,500 down, $600 a month to pay off the remaining $7,000. She was going to put $2,500 down and then pay how much a month for how long? $600 a month. And I think the contract was for nine months. Just a second. $600 a month for nine months. Yeah. So for the year, the car was 7000 It was going to cost her an additional $900. With the interest and the tax and licensing and stuff, yes. Okay. So far, is that correct? Correct. And according to you, Ms. McMahon had some money in cash to give you. How much money did she have? It was actually about $426. $426? Yes, Your Honor. And she had a check? Yes, Your Honor. The check was made out to her? Yes, Your Honor. For how much? $2,000. Now it gets dicey. So you had a check for $2,000 from what? A settlement from State Farm. For what? Um, a car accident I was in in um, March. Was the money for the car or injuries? Um, for injuries. And the check was for $2,000 even? Yes. Had you negotiated that settlement by yourself or did you have a lawyer? Um, it was by myself. And you settled with them for $2,000? Yes. They sent you a check? Yes. And you were going to use that check to help pay the down payment. Yes. So you had 426 plus the $2,000 check would have been enough for the down payment. I had 900 cash. Is that what you gave him? Yes. Do you have proof of that? Yes. I'd like to see it. It's on my phone. When I first flew here yesterday, my phone just stopped working. Well, I don't, well, it's on I don't want to hear about okay. bad phones, good phones. When you buy a used car, you have a receipt. Not on your phone, you have a receipt. Do you have the receipt, Mr. Grant? Yes, Your Honor. That's what I want to look at. You have a sales contract. That is the purchase order. I have this. Down payment, $2,500. And the balance to be financed was 488641 And the adjusted negotiated price was $6,499. OK. Oh, give permission this back to, to her, speak. please. I'm not interested in that. Permission to That's speak. That's nonsense. Okay. The down payment, you signed it. This is a contract. Buyer's signature, his signature, $2,500 down payment. You gave him a check for $2,000. You put the check into your personal account? This is, yes, Your Honor. Why? She had came in. She was in a rental car, paying $100 every day for a rental car. She gives me the sad single mom story, this and that. She didn't have a bank account, so she brought the check to like a, a check cashing place that we're gonna deduct so much money for cashing the check. She couldn't, she couldn't come up with the $2,500 if she was to do that. I had called Farmers Insurance. They told me it was a real check, a real settlement You can't check. tell me what they told you. Okay. Actually, you can't tell me what they told you, so I'm totally disregarding that. Okay. You took the check and you went to your bank. With Stacy. I asked my bank if she endorses the check to me, there wouldn't be any Why fees. Why can't she endorse the check over to the company that you work for? Because how, how my company is, or I don't know with any other company, we cannot take a check endorsed. It has to be made out to the, the company. I see. Okay. It's reasonable. So you put the check in, and then what happened? I uh, deposited the check on May 2nd. On May 3rd, I had withdrew $1,500 for the deposit. I had loose cash. I was going to leave the, uh, the remaining balance in my account with the money I already had in my account. I pulled out $1,500, adjusted the price with the $2,000 with the cash that I had, and I signed the paperwork on the 3rd with Stacy, giving her the down payment, which in return goes Why back to my company. Why didn't you take out the whole $2,000? The down payment here says $2,500.